Hey guys, Calvin here. Welcome back. In the last video, we tried to make a wonton soup at home. Today, we are gonna keep on our dumpling battle between wonton and jiaozi. It's jiaozi's turn today. Let's see how to make jiaozi at home. The first step is the same as making wonton. You could go back to the last video for how. We are gonna start with the second step, making our filling. We are gonna make a kind of typical jiaozi filling. The ingredients are as simple as usual. Let's shred the chives. Some people may call it the Chinese leek. The same thing. If you can't get used to chives or be allergic to eggs, you can definitely use the wonton filling, which has been introduced in the last video. Okay, let's move on. Cut the prawn meat into smaller pieces. Crack 5 eggs into a bowl. Beat lightly until there are bubbles on the top. In order to make the eggs taste smoother. Pour some cooking oil in a pan. We are gonna scramble the eggs. Cook for about 2 minutes and make the eggs a little bit tortured. Then pour everything into a big bowl. Stir in one direction until they are well mixed. Wake up the dough and cut it in half. Use one and wrap the other. Roll it out and cut the dough into smaller ones, which would be 14 gram or 0.5 ounce. The key is to keep the size consistent. Try not to make these too small because it makes it more challenging to fill the dumplings, especially if you have big hands or you are a beginner. If you don't have time to make your own wrappers, you can use store-bought dumpling wrappers. Cover the worktop with some flour. Take one piece of dough to make it sphere. Squeeze a bit, then roll it out. Grab one side of it. Use your rolling pin to roll it and spin. Roll it and spin to make it a fairly round shape. Put one teaspoon filling on the wrapper and use the pedicure of your hand. I mean the space between the forefinger and the thumb to hold the dumpling and squeeze. It's a good idea to use a storage box and freeze the dumplings if you can't eat them all at one time. Okay, finally comes our last step. I'm gonna pan fry the jiaozi. Add a little bit of cooking oil to a non-stick pan. Cover the lid and wait until the dumplings are sizzling in the pan. Pour some water in until the water half submerges the dumplings. Cover the lid, heat still on low, and wait until the water in the pan is all gone and the dumplings are sizzling again. Now is our most exciting time, the dumpling battle. Which one is better since they have been against each other for tens of centuries in history? The wrapper of jiaozi is so crispy after pan frying and the filling is tender. It's so great to eat jiaozi with some sauce like soy sauce or rice vinegar, but you could use any sauce you like to go with it. Let's see wonton. It's perfect in the chicken soup and the wrapper is so soft like cloud. The filling in wonton is al dente. Mm, I can hardly tell who's the winner, but I prefer the taste of wonton. But anyway, try my both and let me know which is your preference. That's it, I'm Calvin, restaurant recipe sharer, and I will see you in the next video.